Hi, I'm Miss Hearn. Let's get started. All right, an airplane is flying in still air with an airspeed of 266 miles per hour. Okay, as I'm reading this, I'm thinking, oh, that's a rate. Yeah, velocity, a rate, miles per hour. If it's climbing at an angle of 22 degrees, find the rate at which it's gaining altitude. Okay, we're asked to find the rate at which it's gaining altitude, so I guess that means that the height is increasing, right? So we're going to have this little airplane taking off, right? And it's climbing at an angle of 22 degrees. I can't even read that, let me fix that. This is supposed to be 22 degrees. And then um, as this happens, it's going to be moving both horizontally and vertically. Let's call the, uh, let's call it X and Y. We can do that, right? X and Y. The speed of the airplane. So here's S. Um, aren't they giving us DS, DT, right? <laughs> Is it a rate? Would you agree it's a rate? Okay, is it, it's the rate at which the plane is traveling, right? And this, this arrow S is representing the distance it's traveled. So at a particular time, of course that's changing. So I believe they are giving us DS, DT. I am assuming, I am drawing it as a right triangle. Yes. We can use trig functions. That's a good idea because we have an angle. Um, I'm really not interested in this x so much, am I? No. 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 So what am I wanting to relate? Y. The y and the s, yeah? So that I can then use that to get ds, dt, and dy, dt, a relationship between those? Mm -hmm. Because what we're trying, what rate are we trying to find? The rate at which it's gaining altitude, which is dy, dt? That's what we're trying to find. So we need a relationship between ds, dt, and dy, dt. We, we can use a relationship between s and y to get it. So what's the relationship based on this angle? What's the relationship between s and y? Sine is um, opposite over hypotenuse, right? So we can say the sine of 22 degrees is y over s. Mm -hmm. We're going to find a derivative. I was thinking about writing this as um, y equals <coughs> s, again, s probably wasn't the best choice, times the sine of 22 degrees. So if I differentiate both sides with respect to t, what am I going to get? dy dt equals ds dt times sine of 22 degrees, right? Well, this is a uh, con it's a coefficient, right? Okay, and so now what? Okay, so dy dt should be equal to, fingers crossed, 266 times the sine of 22 degrees. So let's plug that into our calculators. Is that supposed to be the answer? Yeah, I think so. 266. Yeah, make sure your calculator's in degrees. That's a good point. Good point. 266 times the sine of 22. So that's approximately 99.6454 ish. And the, that was in uh, the Y was being, since we're doing miles per hour. <clears throat> the Y was, um, well, everything was miles. Yes? No, okay. Um, this sign of 22 degrees is a constant value. We could have actually evaluated it back at the beginning. I didn't because then I have to round off. But um, this is just a constant, so we treat it as a coefficient of s. It's just like if I had a 5s there, right? Then it would be 5 ds dt. But instead I have a sine 22 
S. So I just have sine 22 ds dt. Because there's no variable in it. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please remember to like it.